In this scenario, we are looking at propane storage tanks where a fire has been extinguished and the area is safe to enter. Let's go through the steps of resetting a pneumatic deluge system equipped with an F1 deluge valve. Let's start by closing the water supply control valve. Next, close the ball valve below the air maintenance device. Now you will need to drain down the system. Start by opening the main drain, followed by the auxiliary drain. Finally, let's open the flow test valve and then wait for the system to drain. Once all the water has drained from the system, you can close both drains. Let's start by closing the main drain, followed by the auxiliary drain. Then let's partially close the flow test valve. We need to leave the flow test valve partially open for when we reintroduce water back into the system. Before reintroducing air to the release line, you'll need to repair or replace any detection devices that have been damaged and close any open drains. Start reintroducing air to the release line by opening the air bypass valve on the air maintenance device. Once the release line air pressure is within 5 psi of your target air pressure, close the air bypass valve and open the ball valve below the air maintenance device to finish filling the release system. After re-establishing air pressure in the release system, the pneumatic actuator will reset and allow water pressure in the prime chamber to build. Check to make sure water pressure is building in the prime chamber. Once water pressure has been re-established in the prime chamber, Slightly open the water supply control valve and begin reintroducing water into the system. Once flow has been established, close the flow test valve completely. Now fully open the water supply control valve. After the system water pressure is restored, any alarm panels that were activated will need to be reset to clear any active alarms. Excellent! The system has been placed back in service.